Hi, everyone. Uh, we want to look at uh, this question. This is from the, let me write it down here, uh, F-A-M-S. Okay, let me rewrite that. F-A-M-S, uh, sample questions. Uh, sample questions. Uh, you can find these on the uh, Society of Actuaries uh, website, the SO website. So uh, this is question number one, and uh, we just want to talk through these, right? Uh, bear in mind, right, I won't be talking about uh, some of the theoretical, theoretical ideas that we covered in our class, in the videos, and so on. This is just to help us uh, solve this problem, right, um, under exam conditions. So I'll talk about the main ideas, and I intend to produce quite a few videos on some of these sample questions. So uh, uh, make sure you uh, follow me. But... Uh, Anyway, let's uh, look at question number one, right? Uh, you're given the number of claims has a Poisson distribution. So we're looking at number of claims, Poisson, and uh, claim sizes, okay, I like to use X. Uh, they have a Pareto, mid parameters, theta is 0.5, and alpha is six. So the number of claims and uh, claim sizes are independent. Okay, the observed average total payment should be within Ah, good. Within 2%. So you already know something here. And uh, so let me read that first, right? The observed average total payment. So total payment, let me underline that. Should be within 2% of the expected average total payment. Okay, 2% of the expected average total payment. So the important words, yeah, total payment. Okay, good. 90% uh, of the time. Okay, 90% of the time. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. So, uh, ninety percent of the time, and this two percent, you know straight away that uh, we have learned this in class. We have lambda naught, right? Okay, which will be y p over r whole thing squared, and y p because it's ninety percent. So we are looking at uh, uh, point nine here, and so we have got uh, point oh five here. So we are looking at point nine five. So therefore, my YP here from the tables you should get this as 1.645, okay? And R, they gave me here, 0 0.02. So we're done with this part, right? Okay, now we can look at the question. What do they want? Healthily, the expected number of claims needed for full credibility. Okay, we are looking at Pareto. So what you can do is uh, you can uh, look up your tables and let's write down the uh, important things, right? The expected value of X, and then we can write down the second moments and all that. I've done that here. Okay, let's look at what I've written, right? Okay. Here we have... Uh, okay. Hang on. Oops. Okay. So the expected value of X is theta or alpha minus 1. We know that from Pareto. Okay, look up uh, the formula book, right? Uh, we have 0 0.5 over 5. You'll get 0 0.1. Okay, and the, the second moments, right? Expected value of x squared. Uh, also, you get from your tables two theta squared over alpha minus one, alpha minus two. Okay, let me just clear this so you can see everything here. So all I've done is just uh, plugged in the uh, plugged in the numbers and obtained the second moment expected value of uh, x squared as 0 0.025. Uh, remember, we are dealing with uh, total payment. We are dealing with an aggregate distribution, okay, aggregate claims, okay, aggregate claims. And uh, we are looking at uh, what? We're looking at the number of claims is Poisson. So we have compound Poisson, okay? So we have compound Poisson. And so we have learned this in class and bigger than or equals to lambda naught over lambda one plus your coefficient of variation squared, right, of x. So because they want us to find Okay, because they want us to find the uh, expected number of claims needed for full credibility, we know straight away what they want is n lambda. Okay, so we start here, we start here, and then we know this is what they want us to find. Bring the lambda across, and you will get this. Okay, so let me clutter this up, right? So you can see it clearly. Yeah, pretty good. So all you need to do, folks, is uh, 
uh, deal with this. Yeah, I have sigma squared over mu squared. Okay, sigma squared over mu squared, and then I have a plus one here. So let me write that here. So I have mu squared plus sigma squared. Okay, over mu squared. So which means by mu squared is at the bottom, and you know this one, your mu squared plus your sigma squared will give you your your second moments. Okay, lambda not. I, I've already told you how to do it. Okay. So let's move the screen up a little bit and we'll be done, right? Use your calculator carefully. And uh, let's see, what have I done? Okay. So all you have to do is, uh, okay. Let me erase this, yeah. Okay. okay, good. So I have my YP over my, uh, R here, whole thing squared, right? And then uh, that's my, my lambda naught, 1.645 and 0.02, right? Uh, and then I have my N lambda here, is bigger than or equals to lambda naught. And then I have my second moments, which is this, or my first moment squared, which is 0.1 squared. Use the calculator and you will get 16912.65. Therefore, your response will be at least 16,000. Okay, and we are done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.